Welcome to Concussion Talk Podcast. This is episode 27. My name is Nick Mercer, and today I'll be talking to Siobhan Karam, a sport physiotherapist focusing on concussion management. Siobhan will be talking to us today about Sport Physiotherapy Canada's second annual and most recent concussion symposium held in Ottawa over the past weekend. Okay, I'm on the phone now with uh, Siobhan Karam. And Siobhan would like to please introduce herself and talk about a little bit about Sport Physiotherapy Canada and the concussion locker room. That's part of that website and association. So, Siobhan. Hi, everyone. I'm Siobhan. I'm a physiotherapist at the Cleveland Clinic Midtown in Toronto. Um, like Nick said, I'm on the concussion committee for Sport Physiotherapy Canada. We have a new locker room online at sportphysiotherapycanada.com. And we formed our committee about two years ago now. Um, on the committee, there is Catherine Schneider, Jenny Day, Heather Clegg, Deanna Molden, Mark Rosardo, and myself. Um, and what we've set out to do is uh, translate concussion knowledge um, from research into practice uh, for all of our members. And so we've organized a concussion symposium every year. It's been annual so far. Um, so this year we hosted the second annual concussion symposium in Ottawa. And what we're doing so far is we're piggybacking the Grey Cup. So we're traveling around to each city that's hosting the Grey Cup and trying to do our event in conjunction with the Grey Cup. That way we can reach out to all physios across Canada. Um, so this year it was in Ottawa at... Um, the Infinity Con Convention Center. It was a beautiful, beautiful venue. And we had excellent high caliber speakers from all over the country. Um, so I can tell you a little bit about each speaker. Um, Nick, do you have any questions? Oh, yeah, yeah, well, if I'll just tell the, hopefully it's Americans are listening as well. And they know the Good Cup is CFL's, well, it's the Super Bowl is a big, big name for it, but it's CFL's championship game. Um, and uh, I guess, Javon, could you just, talk about what exactly what, talk about what you discussed at this at the uh, symposium and what and who your guests were and what you personally talked about I know you had some you had a case study in the closing marks to give as well so mm -hmm. yeah so the concussion was focused more on the con the clinical considerations of care um, so we had some experts like Catherine Schneider speak, um, and just, she gave us an update from Berlin. So Berlin is where we had the international consensus on concussion and sport. Um, 2016 was the fifth one. So we updated our best practice guidelines internationally. And so Catherine, uh, had a big part in that conference. And so she, um, did a summary of all the research, which was awesome. And then we had some people from the government come and speak, just from a federal level. We had Jocelyn East from Sport Canada. And then we had Pam Fuseli from uh, Parachute Canada. So we do a lot of work with them as well. And then... Um, oh, sorry, a lot. What are Parachute Canada? I, I know uh, they're they're Injury prevention? Injury prevention, yes. Concussion is just one of their areas. Okay. Um, so... Yeah. So it, Parachute's basically a national charitable organization, and um, to summarize kind of what they do is they like they prevent injuries and save lives, so a lot of their work has been geared towards that. Um, so they have a huge um, concussion harmonized uh, program going on. So if you visit their website, I think you could probably pull that up later, Nick. Um, it's parachutecanada.org. Um, there's a nice summary of everything they're doing, and they're basically amalgamizing um, – a protocol across all national sport organizations in Canada. So Pam gave us an update on that. Um, so if you visit the website, you can see more about what's going on at that end. Um, locally, we had Dr. Roger Zemick from CHEO come speak. Um, he gave us a really good emergency department perspective. Um, and he, he did a fantastic study in the five Ps. Um, so prognostic factors looking at children with concussions. Um, and so again, if you go to our website, you can see all their bios and links um, to their research and then we had Isabel Gagnon um I have to go pull them all up because it's I don't have them right in front of me so I can do that later um and yeah so I don't have the details of all their talks right in front of me 
Um, but it was a lot of information condensed into one day and everyone was so thorough. So it was fantastic. Um, we had Isabel Gagnon. She came from Montreal and she spoke a lot about uh, the importance of exercise and exercise testing and exercise treatment post-concussion. So I know um, everyone knows the old approach was to rest um, until asymptomatic. But the new approach everyone's taking now, the evidence supports, is to get people back exercising right away um, as long as you respect their symptoms. So Isabel did a great workshop on that. Um, we had an optometrist, Shirley Blanc, come as well and talk about the visual components of concussion. Um, we had a sports medicine, actually two sports medicine doctors, um, Dr. Jamie Kissick from Ottawa. He's the Red Blacks physician. And then we also had Dr. Laura Purcell come um, from here. And she talked more about the pediatric perspective. Um, we did some sports specific stuff. So we had um, different experts talk about different sports. So we had Timberly George. She's from our national board at Sport Physio Canada. She spoke about rugby. Mark Rosetto did soccer, um, and then we we're fortunate to have guests from Hockey Canada and the International Ice Hockey Federation, so Mark Aubrey and Todd Jackson both spoke on that level. Um, at lunchtime, we did a great exhibit viewing, and we heard from some vendors that are advertising new, um, new products in the concussion world, and then after lunch, we went through two breakout sessions, so Isabel Gagnon ran the exercise component. And we had Catherine Schneider run um, the cervical and vestibular component. So we really did some hands-on practice um, trying to help all the new physios and the physios learning about how to manage concussions. We tried to just give them more of a hands-on perspective so that they can bring what they learn back into clinic. And then um, we had Dr. Chantal Debert come from Calgary. Um, she spoke about headaches and the difficult patient and the different uh, medical considerations on that end. Um, we had John Cornish, um, a CFL athlete speak about, uh, his battle with concussions. He had a great career in the CFL. Um, so again, if you visit our website, you can see his bio and everything he went through, <coughs> excuse me. And then we did, um, a question panel at the end. So we let the audience, uh, speak to all of the experts. Um, oh yes, yeah, so my case study. So I did a case study with Dr. Shirley Blanc. We share a lot of patients in the, the GTA so we had a very complex uh, case history. We took some videos and um, presented that to everyone. So it really was a fascinating case. And it was yeah. nice to hear from other experts giving us their opinion on how to manage that case better. Um, and then I closed up with the remarks. We did some fun draws. And then we hosted a social at the end of the day at my dad's restaurant. So it's Eddie's Diner on Bank Street in the Glebe. It's at Bank in Second. So we had a really fun evening. Everyone was there from 6 till 1 in the morning. Uh, we had live music. So it really was a fun day. Nice. Sounds like a good time. Mm -hmm. uh, is there anything else you were like, I see one before I asked that. Um, I found this predicting persistent post concussive problems in pediatrics. Mm -hmm. Is that right? That's, right. That's the right one. That's you got all those P's. <laughs> Mm -hmm. It's a it's a great tool. It was a huge study that he did. So. Yeah. And uh, yeah. So is there anything, else, anything else you would like to add up to this? Um, in regards to the concussion symposium, um, well, we are planning our our symposium for next year. We're thinking we'll probably go out west. Um, we're not sure if we'll do it exactly on Grey Cup weekend. It, it is quite a busy weekend, and it seems to fall on American Thanksgiving. And we do like our American speakers to come. So we might tailor it a bit around that maybe before or after uh, the date. So our concussion committee will be having another meeting soon just to um, schedule in a date for next year, lock it down. And then we'll start putting some information up on the website so that everyone can get a preview of what's to come next year. And what, um, so what are your websites? And the websites are Pacer Beats or Pepper Beats that you'd like to mention? Um, okay, so let me pull them up on here. Oh, my personal stuff. Uh, oh, my company. So, yes, I've also launched um, a small business, so a small company. And our company sells concussion medical supplies. So as a physiotherapist, I need a lot of tools to assess and treat my concussion patients. And it's really a new area. So there aren't any companies out there that make supplies that, ta that are tailored specific to concussion rehab. Um, so our first product is uh, the joint position 
air headlamp. So we call it the concussion lab laser headlamp. And it helps us measure proprioception of the cervical spine. Um, so basically the sense of awareness of the neck in relation to the head and the body. And then we use it also for rehab exercises to do neck and head and eye exercises, work on dynamic and static stability um, and that kind of thing. So I've designed this product with my company. Um, so we have it now on the market. Our website is concussionlab.com. Um, you can follow us on Twitter at concussion underscore lab and on Instagram as well at concussion underscore lab. Um, and we'll be adding new products um, to the store uh, shortly. So just keep visiting the site and you'll see updates with all the new products. And we really want um, physiotherapy clinics out there to start concussion programs because there's a lot more people wanting to treat and assess concussions. So we want to make sure that everyone has all the tools and then of course uses our standardized guidelines to be assessing and treating concussions. And then um, Sport Physiotherapy Canada, you can follow us um, at Sport Physio Can on Twitter and on Facebook, it's at Sport Physio Canada. Mm-hmm. And uh, yeah, so great. So if that's okay, so thanks so much for talking about this today. And uh, we kept this, this one also well short as well, so that's good. And uh, thanks, that was a very informative discussion. But I think good to hear about your the new, of the next year's questions, new questions, and it's on the works. So it's good to hear. Mm-hmm. So thank you so much for having me, Nick. Always a pleasure. Thank you. Thanks again to Siobhan for an excellent and very informative conversation. Every episode of Concussion Talk podcast and Phoenix Concussion Recovery podcast are available on my website, www.concussiontalk.com, with links to where you can find them on iTunes, YouTube, and SoundCloud. The music at the beginning of this podcast is by Ben Sound, www.bensound.com.